Hey guys, what's up? Welcome in core Java interview question and answer. Uh, in pre previous video tutorial, we had uh, learned about the uh, how to create immutable class in Java with mutable reference. And we discussed about the uh, all various points, right? In this video tutorial, we'll uh, discuss on the immutability itself, Java immutability itself. But uh, uh, you would have faced uh, this question, you would have encountered this question uh, uh, in interview, right? So when we talk about the immutability in Java, then uh, there are a set of uh, rules you need to follow to make a class uh, immutable in Java, right? So uh, first of all, we need to declare a class as final so that no other class can subclass it and will not try to change the state of object, right? Second step, always uh, usually we uh, study on the various blogs, books they used to tell. Uh, we, we have to make uh, all the instance variable of your immutable class private and final. But here question is that do all properties of an immutable object need to be final? What do you think? Just take a pause and think. So guys here answer uh, may be yes or no. That depends on the situation. So let's uh, discuss these things in, uh, in, in Eclipse itself. So here in previous video we I had already so shown you I had created uh, basically one immutable class. So just uh, I have created immutable class employee by making this class as final all the uh, instance variable private final. But here question is that do I need really make to final? Then what would be the answer? See guys, why we make final? What's the use of uh, uh, use of uh, this final keyword? So when you make a uh, uh, instance variable as final, if you do not initialize, then compiler will force you to initialize this variable, uh, final variable in constructor. If I comment this code already, we had discussed in the previous video, then this is showing an error saying that uh, uh, the blank, this is called blank final uh, field saying that uh, the blank final field id may not have been initialized means you have to be initialized in the constructor and once you initialize in the constructor then error has gone away here you can see but what's the advantage of making this uh, uh, instance variable as final private is nothing but the, this uh, id will not be accessible anymore out, outside of the class that's what we have given the private is a encapsulation right why final final why final because once once uh, this uh, basically state or this pro properties gets initialized, initialized in the constructor we don't want afterwards anybody can change value for this properties value and that's the reason we have made it final right so let's say this variable these all variables are final let's talk about the id id is here final right then if you try to uh, re-initialize it some other value in the constructor itself then this is gonna throw an error if you see if i try to uh, reassign uh, reassign some value then this is gonna throw an error and saying that uh, the final field id may already have been initialized if you want to re initialize then you have to remove the final keyword and that's the advantage right so if if your requirement is uh, that you don't nobody can re initialize this value in the constructor itself then make it uh, private don't make it final still your class would be thread safe or immutable right because this constructor will be called only once right and that's the advantage uh, but if you want once uh, object of uh, this class is created and this instance variable gets initialized that afterwards nobody can change value for this uh, instance variable even in the constructor right then make it final i hope it will be very much clear for you right right now some of the key points already i had discussed in the previous video tutorial so this class basically contains some mutable reference right so when you say uh, uh, this uh, reference is final means uh, means uh, it's not mean that uh, this object uh, itself uh, is uh, Im immutable right making final reference means you cannot assign any other object to this reference right but still properties uh, of this class may be changed by the uh, caller or some other thread right so to make uh, this uh, immutable, immutable reference as complete immutable we have some workaround right so here in getter method i have created a new uh, new data object and just we are 
uh, getting that value from this uh, instance variable which is coming uh, coming from the client and same i did for the skills and address right address is mutable class right here we don't have control on address uh, address may be used by the some other classes and they are not willing to make it immutable so we have a workaround we can create a phrase uh, object of uh, address and just we are setting extracting value from the this address which is basically initializing the constructor and putting into the here and just we are returning the uh, you can replica or clone or a defensive copy in that way we can make uh, these classes as immutable uh, this variable as immutable right this instance variable immutable so here i have uh, already we had seen in the previous uh, video previous interview question so here i have created address uh, skills uh, dob right just i'm passing a uh, date in the form of a string to this utility class and this is returning a data object and that's it i have created an employee and by passing this all uh, instance variable created an object as printing values for this and i'm trying to change a value for uh, basically a street right and uh, dob as well as a skills but if i try to run this application then you'll see uh, output of this all sop even after modification of this property would be same and that's the uh, that's the basically proof our class is completely immutable right here you can see uh, in first uh, uh, case when initially we have initialized a street with park street and later we wanted to uh, initialize with uh, some other value or choose a street but uh, value in second time also park street even if you look into the date of birth same as previous and if you look into the skill set a spring hibernate and initially it was a spring and hibernate even though we try to add a spring boot still that is not getting added and this the this proves that our our employee class is completely uh, immutable let's uh, uh, do some tweak over here if 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 uh, let's say i'm going to complete this all uh, uh, mutable basically getter method right and here i'm going to uh, write get dob sorry get uh, dob and just i'm return, returning the same reference so this is very dangerous while making the uh, your class as uh, basically uh, immutable and get address and sorry sorry guys get get address and we have a get a skills so here uh, if you create uh, your getter method uh, so like this right so same reference you are returning over here so here uh, basically what i'm trying to do here uh, if you change uh, basically street uh, dob and uh, skills then this will get changed over here now the employee class is not anymore uh, basically immutable and here you can see uh, now if we return the same reference then here a spring boot is added so your object got modified right in some of obj same object uh, modification has happened a state value also got changed and dav is also getting changed right so this basically uh, breaks the immutability of uh, uh, employee class and that's the reason I, I have told you we need to return the defensive copy of this mutable reference so just i'm going to undo for this uh, am i clear all your doubts about uh, immutability uh, in java right let's come back to the slide now now here uh, i have given the summary uh, what we have discussed so far so you can achieve same functionality by uh, if a question comes uh, do we make all the instance variable as a private final then of course you can make it non-final but a non-final instance variable private non-final but you should keep in mind you can achieve same functionality by making the instance member non-final but Pri um, but private but you need to keep the private and not modifying them except in the constructor right if you make uh, your instance variable only private but not final then you should not uh, modify those property within the constructor right so now next point uh, you should not provide the setter methods you should provide only getter methods right uh, and if uh, it is a mutable object then don't uh, ever leak any reference uh, for that member so uh, already we have seen if we leak this we return the same uh, reference variable uh, right then object can be modified and uh, uh, third and fourth point all, all almost similar uh, sorry second and third point is almost similar uh, third point uh, says if reference variable final no no that is little different uh, basically so if reference variable is final what do you mean by if reference variable is final 
only ensures that it will be re-initialized to different values, right? Uh, sorry, if your uh, uh, reference value is final, then it ensures that it will not be reassigned to a different values, but it can still change individual properties of object pointed by that reference variable. So uh, I think third point is very, very important. So when you say your reference, this reference variable is final, this means uh, you cannot assign uh, another object to this reference, right? But still, uh, properties within that that uh, within that uh, basically uh, this object or uh, this uh, object can be modified. If you say this uh, basically address is final, means you cannot assign reassign another object to the address. But still, uh, all the properties of address can be modified, right? And that's the reason we should return always the defensive copy. So I hope you are very much clear about the, all the question, all the interview question related to the immutable class in Java. And uh, uh, you, I hope you would have enjoyed this video. Guys, that's all I have in this video tutorial. Guys, big thank you for watching this video. And if you want to learn Java in much more detail, visit kkjavatutorials.com.